Hi, I'm Jason from the SEOtools.net. Today, I'll teach you, how you can start your own blog by following the 14 steps. Yes, a very simple steps. Have you been fondling with the thought of starting a blog but feeling a bit stuck? Well, I am here to help you. Whether you want to be a work from home entrepreneur, publish a book, or sharpen your writing skills, running a blog are sure a way to go. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the techniques I have used over the past years in running my blog. I have shared these techniques with so many other people, who have also become successful in running their own blog. Things you stand to benefit from this guide. By the time you are done with this tutorial, your WordPress blog must have been up and running. All I ask from you is just a little commitment. So let's get started. A breakdown of this guide. Number 1. Buying a domain name. Number 2. Selecting a domain. Number 3. Step-by-step -step procedure for installing WordPress. Number 4. Rolling away with WordPress. Step 1. Choosing the right web host. Wondering what a host is? A host is more like a store where customers can come and find you. Though, there are plenty free hosting account out there. I strongly suggest that you go for self-hosting which comes at a little price. I can guarantee you that by starting a self-host, you are building a solid foundation for your online writing career. For over a decade now, I have been hosting my sites on Bluehost, and I have never for one day had a single regret. I am confident you won't too. Simply click on the link in video description and then get started now. Step 2. Choose the plan that suits you. After choosing your web host, next is to select a plan that best suits you. There is always room for upgrading or downgrading your plan. I would personally recommend you go for a plus plan because of its amazing features. It is good to note that, all hosting plans have a free domain. Step 3. Select a domain. A domain is simply the name you wish your website to be addressed. A typical domain is, the SEOtools.net. After entering your domain, ensure you choose the right extension for your site. Examples of extension include .com, .net, and so much more. You will find the list of extensions on the drop-down list. But if you have hosted a domain name with another account previously, then there is nothing to be worried about. How to get the best domain name Number 1. As much as possible, go for .com. Number 2. Avoid ambiguities. Number 3. Never insert hyphens and complex characters in your domain name. Number 4. If you are stuck getting a domain name, you can start with your name. Number 5. Flex your creativity. Step 4. Enter your account details. After clicking the next button, you will be prompted to enter your account details. Ensure the email address you put in is accessible. Step 5. Select the right hosting package. Depending on how you intend to pay, select the hosting account plan that best suits you. Usually, web host companies bills once a year. When you spread the fee across 12 months, you will be amazed how cheap it really is. Ensure you go through the domain protection policy. Most people overlook this but I strongly suggest you do. But if your domain is transferred, then there is no need. Step 6. Enter your billing details. After agreeing the terms and policies, fill in your billing details. Step 7. Leave out the upgrades section. After logging in your billing details, Next page brings up the upgrade option. This part is not really necessary so I recommend you just leave it out. Just go ahead and make your payment, and then check your email for a confirmation. Keep any information sent to you from Bluehost, 
as it will be useful in the future. Step 8. With your details, log into your control panel. After a confirmation of payment, follow the link sent to you by Bluehost to log into the control panel of your website. On the landing page of the link sent to your email, enter the details sent to you. Step 9. Proceed to installation of WordPress. Immediately you log in your details, a website builder page with WordPress icon on it will appear. Click on the icon to start installation. Step 10. Begin the installation of WordPress. The following window will prop up after clicking the WordPress icon. Click on the install button to start installation of WordPress. Step 11. Select where you want WordPress to be installed in. There is nothing really complex about this. Just select your domain name from the drop down menu. Step 12. Enter your WordPress user details. Select the advanced option checkbox and then enter your site name. Sample domain name include James Biden, how to become a successful blogger, how to make money online and so many more. Choose an administrator username which you will use to log into WordPress. Ensure that your admin username is different from your password. Once again, retype your email address. Agree to all terms and condition and then proceed to installing WordPress by clicking the Install Now button. Step 13. Keep your WordPress login details safe. Once WordPress has been successfully installed, your site status will read Success. All relevant information will be sent to your email. If you opt for a new domain name, just enter the name of your new site on any browser, and it will appear live. After login your WordPress details, you will be taken to the background of your website where any kind of change can be made. But if your domain was transferred, then proceed to step 14 which is optional. Step 14. If you previously have a domain name, before your existing domain will be displayed, you will have to change the server where your site is registered. It is very important for you to change servers to your site so that visitors can easily locate your site. But prior to doing this, Bluehost gives you a temporary link. Feel free to contact Bluehost should you have any question. Before changing your server, first note your Bluehost account name servers which could be ns1.bluehost.com ns2.bluehost.com Take this detail to the former host of your site or domain registrar, name.com, godaddy.com, etc. Enter it on the appropriate section and you are good to go. Still a bit confused, contact me at your former web host or domain registrar company. I believe you found everything here very useful. Why don't you show some love to fellow YouTubers by subscribing?